Vedantu team, it's not just the in-depth subject matters that were taught to us, but also the exam-specific strategies we were asked to use. Hello guys, this is Saurav here and welcome to today's session on electrochemistry. How are you guys doing? Could you please tell me a hi if you are able to hear me, see me properly. Please write a hi, hello, whatever you want to, namaste. Whatever you want to write in the comment section. Mein likhye. And <clears throat> hello guys, hello creative writing, hello Hush, hello Darshan. And it's very nice to see you guys. Hello Aras Asutosh. And this session is uh, a one which I have personally preferred to keep because nurse equation is something, nurse equation is something which is very very important. Last session we have nurse equation ke baare padha tha. Hello Amandeep, I'm fine. In last session we had read about nurse equation and in this session we would try to solve some problems on them. Now there would be two such sessions. So to tell you very honestly there would be two such sessions but before that let me uh, give you a very important idea very important information that the VSAT 2019 for gate 6 to 13 13 means the dropper batch is gonna be conducted on Thursday 1st of August 7 p.m. And Sunday, August 4th on 3 p at 3 p.m. Please do register for the test. Please do register for the test. Its registration is free. And writing VSAT, you can uh, get a lot of scholarships and a lot of waivers on our paid courses. Having said that, <coughs> please do like, share and subscribe the channel because it helps us reach out to the masses and helps us do a lot better from what we are doing right now. और एक चीज मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा कि ये जो सेशन हो रहा है इसमें इसके पहले हमने गैल्वैनिक सेल्स नर्स्ट इक्वेशन एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ गैल्वैनिक सेल्स ऑलरेडी खत्म कर लिया है इन दिस सेशन आई बी डिस्कसिंग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड यू कैन सी दैट द प्रॉब्लम बार इज हाफ ब्लू फील्ड सो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग मेंस लेवल प्रॉब्लम वेरी इजी बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस इन दिस सेशन and the next session would be advanced level problems on nurse equation okay so aaj ke session mein hum sirf problems lenge koi theory nahi hogi uh, so aap log jitna comment karoge jitna resp responsive rahoge utna acha rahega next session would be on advanced problems so please do attend that as well because people who are preparing for je mains and neat uh, can focus on this. People who are preparing exclusively for J Advanced should do attend the advanced one. Okay? Chalo. Hello Swasti. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So let's start today's session with the first question and ask a first question. Ye hai. The first question is a takeaway from the previous session uh, in which we had learned how to uh, write a cell reaction. So please look at the question. The question is the cell reaction dichromate Cr2O7 2 minus plus 14H plus plus 6Fe2 plus changes to 6Fe3 plus 2Cr3 plus and 7H2O is best represented by which of the following equations? Okay. Is best represented by which of the following uh, representations? Which of the following options? So question is that this is a reaction. This reaction ko best representation kis option mein kiya gaya hai. So what is your answer? So I'm giving you some time. Malati, Ma, Malati has said C. Uh, Saugat, homework yaha milega. Pahle isko to solve kar lo homework ke baare mein baad mein dekhte. Pahle ye solve kar lo yaha. Mohamad Hashem, hi. Uh, Rishi C. Ajay says C. Okay. Anit says C. Aj Shiv says C. So, let's look at what is happening. What is the oxidation state of chromium? Chromium's oxidation state is plus 6. Chromium's oxidation state is plus 3. So, chromium is undergoing what? Reduction. Chromium ka kya ho raha guys? Reduction. Okay. If you look over here, chromium's oxidation state is plus 6. It is plus 3. Chromium is undergoing reduction. What is happening to iron? Fe2 plus changes to Fe3 plus. So, this oxidation is happening. Okay? This oxidation is happening. Fine? So, when oxidation is happening, oxidation is happening, what do we know? That this is known as the anode. 
एंड दिस इज नोन एज द कैथोड ये वेर एवर रिडक्शन विल टेक प्लेस दैट विल बी नोन एज द कैथोड ओके वॉट इज द ऑक्स एनोड विल रिप्रेजेंट द ऑक्सीडेशन हाफ सेल कैथोड पार्ट विल रिप्रेजेंट द रिडक्शन हाफ सेल Whenever we do a cell representation, whenever we do a cell representation, जब भी हम सेल को दिखाते हैं तरीका ये होता है कि ऑक्सीडेशन हाफ सेल डबल लाइन्स टू वर्टिकल लाइन्स एंड देन रिडक्शन हाफ सेल लिखा जाएगा ओके आई विल राइट ऑक्सीडेशन हाफ सेल डब टू वर्टिकल लाइन्स एंड रिडक्शन हाफ सेल दैट इज हाउ इट विल बी रिटर्न सो आइडियली आवर आयरन थिंग should be on the left hand side and dichromate should be on the right hand side isn't it iron should be on the left hand side and dichromate should be on the right hand side now somebody might ask ki sir hum h plus ko kaha include karenge where should i include h plus theek hai where should i include h plus h plus ko kahi bhi include nahi kiya jayega what is the reason h plus is oxidation state is not changing h plus is just there to balance the reaction theek hai तो उसको H प्लस को यूज किया गया है ओनली फॉर बैलेंसिंग द रिएक्शन सो विल नॉट इंक्लूड H प्लस इन दिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो इन दिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन जहां भी H प्लस रहेगा तो पहले ही गलत हो गया ठीक है सो इन दिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन आई विल ओनली इंक्लूड ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन सो ऑक्सीडेशन सो इन दिस साइड ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई शुड हैव आयरन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड आई शुड हैव क्रोमियम मीन्स एफ ई टू प्लस एफ ई थ्री प्लस एंड राइट हैंड साइड शुड बी सी आर थ्री प्लस सी आर सिक्स प्लस no way <clears throat> okay so this ox in which of the options in which of the options iron is on the left hand side so option c mein iron is on the left hand side okay d no b no a yes isn't it c has iron on the left hand side A has iron on the left hand side. Is that understood? Now, option सिर्फ एक ही है एक ही करेक्ट होगा दिस इज सिंगल ऑप्शन करेक्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट अ मल्टी ऑप्शन करेक्ट क्वेश्चन मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव एंसर्ड सी एंड सी इज इन करेक्ट ओके सी इज इन करेक्ट पहली बात तो ये कि सी इन करेक्ट क्यों है देखो एफ ई टू प्लस वट इज द स्टेट इन विच एफ ई टू प्लस इज प्रेजेंट एक्वस एंड एक्वस ओके ए यू कैन सी दैट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन एक्वस फेज एंड एक्वस फेज सो वेन दे आर प्रेजेंट इन एक्वस फेज आई विल नॉट पुट अ वर्टिकल लाइन वी हैव पुट अ वर्टिकल लाइन वेन एवर दे आर प्रेजेंट इन एक्वस फेज आई पुट अ कॉमा ओके वेन एवर देखो बहुत छोटा सा डिफरेंस है लेकिन बहुत ही खतरनाक डिफरेंस है क्योंकि अगर आपने ये क्वेश्चन गलत सॉल्व किया यू विल मेक अ नेगेटिव मार्क आपको मीन्स यू विल मेक आपको नेगेटिव हो जाएगा एंड सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन यू विल फाइनली फील कि यार व्हाई ऐसी गलती हो गई ओके सो व्हेन यू सी दैट बोथ ऑफ देम आर इन द सेम फेज इट्स एक्वस एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एक्वस एल पुट अ कॉमा अगेन डाइक्रोमेट सी आर थ्री प्लस एक्वस एक्वस so aqueous aqueous raega so i will all okay aqueous 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 now remember whenever things happen within aqueous phase to aqueous phase to electrode jaisa behave nahi karega so i will have to take platinum or any inert electrode i had explained this earlier ki why do we take an inert electrode it's kisi ne pucha bhi tha okay inert electrode so the right answer should be आई एम वेरी सॉरी कि भाई जितने लोगों ने सी बोला दे एंडेड अप मेकिंग मिस्टेक ओके सॉरी वेरी सॉरी आई हैव अ बैड कोल्ड सो द राइट आंसर इज ए सी लुक्स लाइक इट विल बी द राइट आंसर बट सी करेक्ट नहीं होगा ठीक है सेम फेज था सेम फेज आपने मिस कर दिया इज दैट अंडरस्टूड आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड कि क्वेश्चन मेन्स में डिफिकल्ट नहीं होते हैं बट दे गिव यू क्वेश्चन वेयर यू एंड अप मेकिंग सच मिस्टेक्स ओके क्लियर चलो ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी गुड 
okay next question is this please read the question when two half cells with electrode potentials e1 and e2 are combined to form a half cell with electrode potential e3 then which of the following options are correct it is given that n1 n2 and n3 are the number of electrons which are exchanged in the half cell and n3 is in the overall cell okay hello muskan hello shreya so how do we identify the answer to this please tell me what is the answer hitesh says something okay hitesh says c other guys please do answer koshish kijiye answer karne ka simple sawal hai yaar iske upar pichle baar bhi humne concept discuss kiya hai c or d malati c or d <laughs> Shreya says A. Okay. Shivam says C. Manoj C C A C. Only C. चलो देखते हैं क्या होता है आंसर. देखो कोई भी अगर सेल लिया जाए, whenever we get such a cell where two half cells are combined to create a third half cell, I had taken a reaction last class. Suppose A changes to A two plus. okay and a plus changes to <coughs> a changes to a plus a plus changes to a2 plus okay it gives out one electron it gives out one electron i have to identify A changing into A two plus. What is the E naught for this? What is? Let's say this is E one. This is E two. So what we are seeing, what we are seeing is, yar Akhilesh, dekho question jo aayega wo English mein hi aayega, Hindi mein nahi aayega question. So isko yaad rakh lo ki I am not, I have never read chemistry in Hindi. So isliye main apko Hindi mein nahi explain kar sakta hu. I cannot read the question in Hindi. Okay, so question is written in English. I think functional English. आपको आना चाहिए if you are going into an engineering college. Okay, if you are planning to go into an engineering college. So this is functional English. So what I need to do is you can see that this is oxidation. This is oxidation. This is also oxidation. This is not redox. This is not redox, so it is important to know that whenever such a problem is given, I should solve the question using free energy. Okay, I should solve the question using free energy. That means delta G one will be written as minus. Let's say the number of electrons is one. F E one. The second one would be written as delta G two, which is minus one F E two. isn't it the last one this reaction can be obtained agar ye reaction ko mujhe obtain karna hai then this reaction would be obtained by writing delta g3 which is equal to minus 2 f e3 ye reaction kaise obtain kar sakte hain by adding the first one and the second one okay by adding the first one and the second one i can obtain this third reaction okay so what i do is what i do is i equate free energies remember free energies can be equated quite easily the total free energy for a change is equal to sum of free energies for the individual changes so delta g3 will be equal to delta g1 plus delta g2 clear so ye hoga now i will write delta g3 as minus 2f e3 which is equal to minus 1f e1 plus minus 1f e2 clear now i cancel out f i cancel out f by doing that what do I, what do i obtain e3 is equal to 1 E one 
plus 1 e2 upon 2 isn't this isn't this the same as number of electrons in every half cell reaction times the cell potential or half cell potential and ye e naught le lete hain so delta g naught ho jayega so delta g naught so this will be e naught e naught e naught just for the sake of representation so <coughs> this is what will happen okay remember that whenever we take two half reactions added to get a third half reaction we would be using free energy method to calculate cell potential or sorry half cell potential we will be using free energy method to calculate half cell potential remember this this is very very important though reaction the way hai unko add karke if you are getting a only an oxidation reaction or only a reduction reaction then you will use free energy method but if you are getting a cell if you are getting a redox reaction tab dusra ho jayega clear chalo so the right answer to this question would be the right answer to this question would be c clear राइट आंसर सी होगा चलिए इसी कंसेप्ट पे बेस्ड हम ये क्वेश्चन लेते हैं द स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल ऑफ सी यू टू प्लस टू सी यू एंड सी यू टू प्लस टू सी यू प्लस इज पॉइंट थ्री फोर एंड पॉइंट वन सिक्स वोल्ट रिस्पेक्टिवली द रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल ऑफ सी यू प्लस टू सी यू हाफ सेल इज प्लीज ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट shall sir shall we remember this result you can remember this result or you can obtain you can should know how to arrive at this conclusion you should know why this concept is being used so you can see that cu2 plus is converting into cu which is reduction cu2 plus is converting into cu plus which is also reduction and cu plus is converting into cu which is also reduction so do reduction reaction use karke mujhe ek third reduction ke bare mein identify karna hai so which method should i be using bataiye which method should i be using i should be using the method of free energy okay so what is the answer that you guys have gotten let's see what is the answer some people are writing a some people are writing c किसी ने बी भी लिखा है हाउ टू मैनेज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री यार पढ़ाई करके ही मैनेज होगा सम ऑफ टू राइट द रिएक्शंस ट्राई नॉट टू मेमोराइज इट श्रेया राइट्स ए अजय राइट्स सी दर्शन सी सो कन्फ्लिक्टिंग आंसर्स लेट्स सी आंसर क्या होना चाहिए सो पहले हम रिएक्शन लिखते हैं ओके देखो फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट बट इट विल बिकम डिफिकल्ट इफ यू थिंक दैट यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व आई आई टी जेई क्वेश्चन विथ ओनली फॉर्मूलाज ओके विथ ओनली फॉर्मूलाज ओके सो सी यू टू प्लस इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू सी यू इट गिवस आउट हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वट इज दॉट वैल्यू फॉर दिस ई नॉट वैल्यू इज पॉइंट थ्री फोर वोल्ड नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन इज सी यू टू प्लस कन्वर्ट्स इन टू सी यू प्लस एंड इट गिवस आउट सॉरी दिस इज रिडक्शन सो इट टेक्स अप टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके एंड फॉर दिस ई नॉट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू 0.16 volts. Okay, this is equal to 0.16 volts. I have to identify it for this reaction. Reaction क्या होगा? Cu plus plus electron that gives Cu. मुझे इसके लिए निकालना है. इसके E naught का value क्या होगा? ये मुझे निकालना है. This is what I have to find. Okay. अब ये identify करने का तरीका क्या है? I first need to identify कि कौन से दो रिएक्शन को एड करके मुझे थर्ड रिएक्शन चाहिए हमारे हम आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल थ्री रिएक्शन लेट से आई राइट दिस रिएक्शन इज वन दिस रिएक्शन इज टू एंड दिस रिएक्शन इज थ्री क्लियर आई राइट ऑल दीज थ्री रिएक्शन इज रिएक्शन वन रिएक्शन टू रिएक्शन थ्री कैन आई से दैट द थर्ड कैन कैन आई से दैट रिएक्शन वन कैन बी ऑप्टेन्ड बाई एडिंग टू एंड थ्री 
can i say that reaction 1 can be obtained by adding 2 and 3 sorry this is co2 plus changing into cu plus <coughs> can i say this yeah i've written swasti i've written the correction so this is cu2 plus changing into cu plus so can i say that reaction 1 can be obtained by adding reaction 2 and reaction 3 bol sakte hai ki if i add reaction 2 and reaction 3 this electron and this electron will get added up and i will get two electrons and Cu2 plus this will get cancelled isko mein cancel kar dunga and I'll cancel this I'll get this reaction which is nothing but reaction 1 yes I can write that so it is very important to know that number of electrons for reaction 1 times E for 1 should be equal to number of electrons for reaction 2 times E for 2 plus number of electrons for reaction 3 times E naught for 3 okay isn't it ye wahi result mein likh raha hu jo ki pehle maine obtain kiya hai in the previous question I had obtained the same result wahi result mein likh raha hu jis reaction ko hum do reaction ke sum se obtain kar lete hain usko hum electrons times uske self uh, electrode potential se multiply kar de rahe and I'm writing this as the sum okay so what is E1 what is E01 given 0.34 number of electrons 2 which is equal to N2 which is given as 1 times 0.16 plus sec this will be 1 times e naught 3 okay so 0 0.34 times 2 that is 0 0.68 minus 0 0.16 will be e naught 3 so this will become equal to 0 0.52 chahiye. answer should be c answer is c is that clear Shiv, answer is C. Answer is not B. 0.82 kahan se ja hai? Okay. Answer will be C. I hope it is clear to everybody. So remember, I need to look at all the three reactions and then I will identify which two reactions I can add to obtain any reaction. So there is slight change. पिछले केस में हमने क्या किया था कि ये दो reaction लेके ये third reaction निकालने कोशिश की थी. Now I have taken a different change. Earlier, I had tried to calculate this. Now, I am trying to calculate this. So, I just have to use the free energy method. That is the reason, Swasti, I never ask people to remember formulas. Because formulas can be always manipulated. You should always remember the concept through which we obtained a solution. Clear? So, chaliye. Wonderful. Isko ab ab hamesha yaad rakhoge. Wherever two half reactions are combined to make a third half reaction, you will always use the free energy method. Write it completely and then solve it. Next question. Next question is this. When two half cells with electrode potentials E1 and E2 are combined to form a cell with electrode potential E3, n1 n2 n3 are the number of electrons involved in first second and the combined half cell what is the correct answer what is the correct answer read the question carefully it is slightly different from the second question what will be the answer okay <laughs> Think carefully, think carefully. A lot of people are making mistakes. <coughs> sochi, sochi. Question padho yaar. Read the question. Okay. A lot of people are answering and let me give you the right answer. 
a lot of people are answering C, a lot of people are answering uh, D. Think carefully. You are taking two half cells. Let's say I take zinc, changes to zinc 2 plus, gives out two electron, and I take copper 2 plus, which changes to copper, it takes up, it gives out two electrons, takes up two electrons. I take the cell potential as E1, I take the cell potential as E2. Do you remember in the last class I had told you that when you combine two reactions to form a redox reaction, is common combine karke kya likha? Zinc plus Cu2 plus changes to zinc 2 plus plus Cu. This is oxidation, this is reduction, and this is redox. How different it is from the previous scenario? In the previous scenario, this was reduction, this was reduction, this is also reduction. Okay, so in this case, I have taken one oxidation, one reduction, and I have taken the whole reaction as redox. Okay, how do you know we have to take zinc? This is just an example, dummy case. I have taken zinc because we have zinc voltaic cell. So, when we combine two half cells, combine, karke, dekho, question padho. when two half cells with electrode potentials E1 and E2 are combined to form a cell, Guys, it is not talking of a half cell, it is for it is talking of a cell. So when we cell ke bare mein baat karenge, when we are talking about a cell, are we taking a redox change or are we taking only oxidation or reduction? I am taking a redox. Kya hota hai? Redox change lete hain. So we redox change agar le rahe hain, then what I should be doing, irrespective of how many electrons are given out or taken in, irrespective of how many electrons are given out or taken in the cell potentials will be added pe, if it is giving out two electrons and taking in three electrons i will invariably i will invariably add the cell potentials okay i will invariably add the सेल पोटेंशियल्स इसको समझने का एक तरीका मैंने पिछले क्लास में बताया था एंड ये बहुत इजी है मान लीजिए कि यहां पे हम एक रिएक्शन लेते हैं सपोज आई टेक अनदर रिएक्शन एक रिएक्शन लेते हैं जिसमें कि नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अनइक्वल है ये पिछले वीडियो में देखा मैंने बताया था प्लीज डू वॉच दैट बट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस अगेन सो सपोज दिस रिएक्शन गिव्स आउट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ये पहला रिएक्शन ऑक्सीडेशन है पहले रिएक्शन में हमें दो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बाहर मिल रहे हैं एक सेकेंड रिएक्शन लेते हैं जिसमें कि थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लिए जा रहे हैं सो so, क्या हम लिखेंगे इसको B3 थ्री माइनस ठीक है हम इसको लिखेंगे सो so, पहले केस में हम दो इलेक्ट्रॉन बाहर निकाल रहे हैं सेकेंड केस में तीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अंदर ले रहे हैं सो इन द फर्स्ट केस आई एम टेकिंग और टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड द सेकेंड केस आई एम एडिंग थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टेकन इन और गिवन आउट आर अन इक्वल वेन दिस इज दिनारियो Let's say our E0 value is 1. In this case, the E0 value is 2. Is that clear? Fine. Is that clear? Now, agar mujhe reaction ko balance karna hai, if I have to balance this reaction, if I have to add this reaction, to mujhe kya karna padega? What I need to do is cancel out the number of electrons. Electrons ko cancel karna hai. To isko mein ek number se multiply karunga. और इसको भी एक नंबर से मल्टीप्लाई करूंगा क्लियर सो आई विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस विथ थ्री आई विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस विथ टू क्लियर थ्री से पहले को मल्टीप्लाई किए टू से सेकंड को मल्टीप्लाई किए एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैंसिल हो गए हमारे एंड व्हाट आई विल ऑप्टेन इज थ्री ए प्लस टू बी विच गिवस आउट थ्री ए टू प्लस प्लस टू बी थ्री माइनस ओके थ्री ए टू प्लस थ्री ए प्लस टू बी थ्री ए टू प्लस प्लस टू बी थ्री माइनस आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट ई नॉट थ्री आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट ई नॉट थ्री अब सम अब इसको हम फ्री एनर्जी मेथड से सॉल्व करके दिखाते हैं सो हम फ्री एनर्जी मेथड अगर हम यूज करते हैं देन डेल्टा जी वन डेल्टा जी नॉट वन क्या क्या हम लिखेंगे इसको हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर बिंग गिवन आउट वेन आई मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ थ्री How to balance potentials? IIT J advanced aspirant. Since you are an advanced aspirant, listen. Okay, be a good listener. Delta G not one. 
I am multiplying the reaction with 3 that means a total of 6 electrons are being given out. 6 F E naught 1. Cool? Delta G naught 1 is 6 F E naught 1. Delta G naught 2 will be written as how many electrons are taken in? 6 electrons. So 6 electrons le rahe hai, minus 6 F E naught 2. Lovely. If I write the overall reaction, so how many electrons are exchanged? How many electrons are exchanged? Okay. <clears throat> how many electrons are exchanged? Shivam Prajapati, think carefully. Pahle reaction ko 3 se multiply kiya. If I multiply it with 3, that means total kitne electrons nikal rahe hai? 6 electrons yaha pe release ho rahe 6 electrons release ho rahe na? अगर 3 से multiply कर दिया तो ये 2, 6 हो गया और 2 से multiply कर दिया तो 6 electron take up कर रहा है okay? So how many are exchanged? How many are exchanged? 6 given out, 6 taken in total exchanges of 6 electrons So I will write delta G naught 3 as equal to minus 6 F E naught 3 Isn't it? Now Delta G naught 3 is nothing but delta G naught 1 plus delta G naught 2. Okay. Delta G naught 3 is, is written as minus 6 F E naught 3, which is written as minus 6 F E naught 1 minus 6 F E naught 2. <coughs> Sorry. This gets cancelled out. क्या बच गया आपके पास? E not three is nothing but E not one plus E not two. So whether the number of electrons, whether the number of electrons is equal or the electrons are unequal. See delta G is extensive property. It depends on the amount of substance. It's like enthalpy. दो reactions thermochemistry में अपने पढ़ा है कि enthalpies get added heat of formation अगर आपको निकालना तो आप add कर देते हो similar is delta G it will be added for every individual step whatever is the delta G will be added to get the delta G for the overall reaction so whether it is equal number of electrons or unequal number of electrons I'm doing this as long as it is a redox reaction clear so remember that our answer would be B. Take it. Lovely. Easy question here. Okay. This is not going to be number of electrons. How can an electrochemical cell is converted into an electrolytic cell? Usko <laughs> electricity provide karo yaar. Uska reaction ko reverse kar do. Okay. Let's take problem number five. Given the listed standard electrode potentials, what is the E naught of the cell? You can see that there's a very elaborate reaction. Okay, a reaction dekh rahe I guess you are able to see this. Yep, very good. Yes, man. Whether the number of electrons is equal or unequal, whether the number of electrons is equal or unequal. Uh, it does not make a difference as long as it is redox reaction you can add the electrode potentials so you can see that b i o plus is changing to b i this is undergoing this reduction and this is undergoing nitrogen oxidation Clear? Nitrogen is undergoing oxidation. You are given certain values. Now look at the values and identify what reaction will happen. What are these values given for? Nitrogen is taking up 4 electron. BiO is taking up 3 electron. Think carefully what should happen. What, what are these E0 values? Can you tell me? Are these E0 values given for reduction? Are these E0 values given for oxidation? Darshan has given the answer as D. So are these E0 values given for reduction or are these E0 values given for oxidation? Kya diya gaya hai? 
इट्स गिवन फॉर रिडक्शन थैंक यू अनंत इट्स गिवन फॉर रिडक्शन इट्स गिवन फॉर रिडक्शन एंड व्हाट इज दिस रिएक्शन रेडॉक्स दिस रिएक्शन इज रेडॉक्स सो इफ दिस रिएक्शन इज रेडॉक्स एंड दीज टू आर फॉर रिडक्शन देन वन ऑफ देम हैज टू बी ऑक्सीडेशन हाउ डू आई कन्वर्ट अ रिडक्शन वैल्यू फॉर पोटेंशियल टू कन इंटू ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल इंटू ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल कैसे कन्वर्ट करते हैं आई चेंज इट सो हु शुड आई चेंज इट विच इज अंडर गोइंग अ डिफरेंट रिएक्शन टेकिंग नेगेटिव सो दिस इज अंडर गोइंग रिडक्शन सो आई विल प्रिजर्व दिस वैल्यू मतलब इसको हम वैसे का वैसे ही रख देंगे बट द अदर पार्ट दिस वन इज अंडर गोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन तो इसको ऑक्सीडेशन में कन्वर्ट करना है मुझे I have to change it to oxidation. If I change it to oxidation, then minus point two three will become point two three plus point two three. So E naught for oxidation will be point two three volts. E naught for reduction is plus point three two volts. Now tell me something. Should I worry about? देखो यहाँ पे four electrons लिए जा रहे हैं. थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ले जा रहे हैं शुड आई वरी अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स शुड आई वरी अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर गिवन आउट और टेकन इन येस और नो नो आई शुड नॉट वरी अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन सो वट आई डू एज जस्ट एड बोथ ऑफ दम एड कर देंगे वट विल बी माई आंसर पॉइंट फाइव फाइव आंसर शुड बी एके इट्स अ रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन I do not have to worry about anything. So this will also I will multiply this with four, multiply this with three. This will become twelve. This will become overall reaction will also have twelve electrons. So no issues, no issues. Very easy question. अरे IIT J E advanced aspirant देखो यार similar question है पिछले वाला जो concept था उसी पे based है okay similar question है I don't have to worry about the number of electrons as long as it is redox. okay i can just add the oxidation and reduction potential i get the final cell potential cool so this is a major confusion that students have that whether i should add them or i should take into consideration electrons don't worry about it as long as it is redox add both of them cool let's go on to the next question problem number 6 problem 6 kya the emf of the following cells is represented as E1, E2, E3, E4 respectively. What is the relationship between them? Okay. In what you have to worry? You do not have to worry about anything. Most of the things in life are easy. अब unnecessary tension लेके उसको और complicate कर देते हो. Okay. और physical chemistry तो easy topic है. Do not worry about electrochemistry a bit. And EMF of the following cell is represented as E1, E2, E3, E4 respectively. What is the relationship between them? How do we solve this question? So yes, creative writing concentration is given. Now it is very important to know that what react, which equation should I be using to solve this question? To solve this question, I had told you earlier that what is Nernst equation? Nernst equation uses the effect explains the effect of concentration on cell potential. okay it is the effect it explains the effect of concentration on change in cell potential concentration agar aapne change kar diya aapko cell potential change ho jayega so herschel let's see a lot of people have given some answers other people also try to answer the question darshan has given as darshan has given the answer Herschel has given the answer. Nobody else has given the answer. Try to give the answer, guys. <clears throat> so, how do I solve the question? I have to remember that for this reaction, for this change, this is oxidation half cell. This is reduction half cell, isn't it? This is oxidation half cell. This is reduction half cell. अगर ये change को मैं represent करूँ I will represent it like this: zinc plus Cu two plus changes to zinc two plus plus Cu, isn't it? I will represent the reaction like this. 
जिंक चेंज कर रहा है जिंक टू प्लस में कॉपर टू प्लस चेंज कर रहा है सीओ में सो दिस इज द रिएक्शन जिंक प्लस सीओ टू प्लस चेंजेस टू जेड एन टू प्लस प्लस सीयू क्लियर नाउ इफ आई राइट द दिस इज सॉलिड दिस इज एक्वस दिस इज एक्वस दिस इज सॉलिड यू कैन इन्फर इट बिकॉज यू कैन सी अ वर्टिकल लाइन अब वर्टिकल लाइन देख रहे हैं तो इसका मतलब ये सॉलिड होगा और ये एक्वस होगा क्योंकि इसका कंसेंट्रेशन दिया गया इसका कंसेंट्रेशन नहीं दिया गया सो दिस हैज टू बी सॉलिड कूल नाउ व्हाट आई डू इज आई राइट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द इक्विलिब्रियम कांस्टेंट और रिएक्शन कोशंट ओके आई सॉल्व और आई राइट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट और रिएक्शन कोशंट क्या लिखा जाता है इट इज प्रोडक्ट बाई रिएक्टेंट प्रोडक्ट बाई रिएक्टेंट सो प्रोडक्ट इज वॉट जिंक टू प्लस रिएक्टेंट सी यू टू प्लस रिमेंबर द एक्टिविटी और द कंसेंट्रेशन फॉर सॉलिड इज टेकन एज वन ओके इसके लिए हम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वन ले लेते हैं इसके लिए कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वन ले लिया मैंने सो इट इज नॉट टेकन इन टू कंसिड्रेशन नॉट द नस्ट इक्वेशन इज रिटर्न एज ई नॉट सॉरी E of cell is nothing but which is equal to E not of cell minus zero point zero five nine one by n which is two over here log of q, isn't it? It is written as log of q. Now what is q? Zinc two plus upon Cu two plus. So remember, I can increase this. So E cell will increase. E cell will increase if if zinc two plus will decrease or Cu two plus. will increase that means i have to reduce the negative part to as a small value as possible agar main isko jitna chhota kar deta hu ye utna hi zyada value rahega isn't it so let's look at the concentrations zinc 2 plus is 1 and this is 1 1 and 1 so ye kya ho jayega log 1 is 0 this will be a value let's say even le lete hain Equal to just E naught of the cell, so E one and E four should be equal. E one and E four should be equal. So A and B is obviously out of option. E one and E four are equal, so A and B are obviously not our answer. If that is the condition, let's look at D, a C and D. What do we want? Zinc to be less, copper to be more. किसमें जिंक लेस है एंड कॉपर मोर है जिंक इज लेस एंड कॉपर इज मोर सो बी हैज जिंक लेस कॉपर मोर दैट विल हैव मोर सेल पोटेंशियल सो टू विल बी मोर देन थ्री एंसर शुड बी डी ओके टू विल बी मोर देन थ्री इट शुड बी डी इजी क्वेश्चन वेरी beautiful application of nernst equation very easy way to understand how the nernst equation can be affected with the change in concentration why do we need to use nernst equation abhi tak humne nernst equation kyun nahi use kiya because there was no need of concentration now we need put concentration i change the concentration how would the cell potential change dekhi cell potential change kar raha hai it's not the same anymore so how would it change will be told by nernst equation and that is where you have to use nernst equation okay chalo so things start becoming easy when you start understanding the uh, concept behind a problem rather than remembering the formula okay so next question lete hain thoda sa wordy hai question is consider the following half reactions and associated standard half cell potentials so you are given certain standard half cell potentials okay determine the maximum voltage that can be obtained by the combination resulting in a spontaneous process okay so this is very easy very interesting 
क्वेश्चन देखिए आपके पास आंसर आराम से निकल जाएगा ओके यू कैन गेट द आंसर वेरी वेरी इजिली जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट द क्वेश्चन so can you tell me that whether these values which so ever are given are oxidation potentials given or reduction potentials are these oxidation half cell potentials or reduction half cell potentials these are e not for reduction because you can see electrons are being added electrons are being added now i need to construct a cell by taking one reduction and one oxidation okay i need to construct a cell by combining one reduction and one oxidation so ek reduction jo rahega wo to i will preserve that value and jo oxidation hoga usko main ulta kar dene wala hu okay i will have to keep one of these values as like this and the other value will be changed will be just reversed now the easy way to solve this question is by looking at which is the largest value that you can see over here which is the largest value that you can see over here you can see the largest value is 0.86 sorry <coughs> the largest value is 0.86 okay and the second largest value is 0.49 so obviously if i combine both of them i will get a cell potential value which will be maximum so how do i combine them what is the right way to combine them i should take both of them to be positive because it is written spontaneous it is written spontaneous since it is written as spontaneous i should combine both of them in a positive manner mere ko ye bhi positive chahiye i should have this also as positive so i will i will change this to oxidation and i will retain this as reduction so that will be 0.86 plus 0.49 that will be 5 <coughs> 5a ki mein answer d ho jana chahiye the right answer should be d okay delta g is smaller than obviously creative writing that is fine but which reaction should i choose depends on which are the largest values one of the largest value has to be changed so that i get the combination to be positive and the largest positive value for the combination theek okay? hai it's a very very easy problem however maximum cell voltage apa kya hoga io minus and au br3 minus ke combination pe aayega okay chalo the last question for this session is this ye session ka last question hai consider the electrochemical cell in which the following reaction occurs and predict which changes will decrease the cell voltage which changes will decrease the cell voltage okay which changes will decrease the cell voltage so for this i will write q as fe3 plus upon fe2 plus ag plus and i write e cell as e not cell minus 0.0591 by n log q okay log q why get greater values are added because maximum bola gaya hai amandeep maximum bola gaya tha na maximum cell voltage nikali that is the reason maximum cheezo ko add kar denge maximum positive cheezo ko add kar denge so q i need to decrease this so i have to increase this i need to increase q to q ko increase kaise karenge how would i increase q by reducing this and increasing this so decreasing in ag plus concentration yes increasing fe3 plus concentration yes increasing the amount of ag suppose i increase the amount of ag will it affect the cell potential obviously not because it is not involved in the q 
रिएक्शन कोशेंट और इक्लिब्रियम कांस्टेंट में इन्वॉल्व नहीं है तो आप इंक्रीज भी करते रहोगे तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा ओके इट्स अ सॉलिड इट इज नॉट गोन एफेक्ट सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज डी ओके राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज डी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न अंटिल नाउ एंड with this we finish today's session but before going let me tell you that vedantu is offering a one year long term program in which you can take admission from the vsat that you would be appearing for the given dates the <coughs> lecture plans and the other information can be obtained directly on by going onto the link which will be there on the video and please do appear for vsat comprehensive tests live classes interact with the teachers a lot of amazing features as well so with this i take leave and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and uh, this increases our uh, outreach and helps opportunities of vsat you can get waivers on the paid courses okay chali uh we'll meet the next session next session advanced question ke upar discussion rahega to please don't miss it okay don't ever miss it okay डेप्थ वी सेट के बारे में जितनी इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए प्लीज डू राइट टू अस यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ मी एट सारोफ डॉट गोस्वामी एट द रेट वेदांतो डॉट कॉम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी इंडिविजुअल क्वेश्चन बट प्लीज डू अपियर फॉर वी सेट बाय गाइज